Welcome to the next chapter in the Dragon Ball universe, Dragon Ball Diana. The Dragon Balls have always been powerful tools for altering the status quo, but in episode 1, Conspiracy, we're introduced to an entirely new scheme that takes our heroes by surprise. This time, an ancient evil emerges from the shadows of the demon realm, armed with a plan that will flip the world upside down, old enemies, new threats, and a race against time. That's what Dragon Ball Diama brings to the table, as Goku, Vegeta, and the rest of the Z Fighters are faced with a magical catastrophe. So buckle up, because we're about to recap everything that goes down in Episode 1 of Dragon Ball Diama. In the heart of the Demon Realm, a sinister plot unfolds as two cunning Majin, Goma and Degasu, enact their plan to change the fate of the universe. They summon the mighty Shenron, and with one simple wish, they alter the course of our heroes' lives forever. Their first wish is one that no one could have predicted. They ask Shenron to revert Goku and his allies to their younger, more vulnerable forms. In an instant, the powerhouses of the Z Fighters are transformed into harmless children, putting them at a massive disadvantage. This twist is just the beginning of Goma and Degasu's plot setting the stage for chaos in episodes to come. Imagine the strongest warriors in the universe suddenly reduced to their childlike forms, stripped of their full power. Goku, Vegeta, and the rest of the team are caught completely off guard by this wish, and they must now figure out how to reclaim their strength and stop the threat that looms in the demon realm. But turning the Z Fighters into kids isn't enough. For Goma and Degasu, their second wish brings an ancient power back into the light, a relic called the Evil Third Eye, also known as the Tertian Oculus. This Majin artifact lost since the days of the Supreme Demon King Abara grants this wilder unimaginable strength. We don't see this in the first episode, but I'm sure this will come about at the start of the second. With this relic, Goma plans to to become the most powerful ruler the demon realm have, has ever seen. With this wish, he gains access to a terrifying new level of power, making him an even bigger threat to Goku and his friends. The stakes couldn't be higher, and Goma's ambitions are only just beginning. Meanwhile, Degasu remains quiet about what he wants for their third wish. His goals are still a mystery, but there's no doubt that he has something sinister in mind, possibly involving his older brother, Shin. Whatever Degasu's plan is, it will likely further destabilize the balance of power in the universe. One of the biggest revelations in Episode 1 is the existence of the Demon Realm's own set of Dragon Balls. However, these powerful orbs aren't so easy to use. They're guarded by three formidable warriors known as the Tamagami, who are under the protection of Neva, the Namekian. Neva, a Namekian from the Demon Realm, plays a crucial role as the guardian of these Dragon Balls, but he's not exactly respected by Goma and Degasu. He's the subject of their mockery, yet his position redefines the Dragon Ball universe, adding a layer of Demon Realm lore that fans have never seen before. It's clear that the Demon Realm operates under its own rules, and with characters like Neva and the Tamagami, Introduce the power struggles within the dark world become even more intriguing. Who knows what other mysteries this realm holds? This shift in lore could even prompt Dende to develop Earth's own Tamagami to protect their Dragon Balls. As Goma and Degasu put their plan into action, a new figure steps into the spotlight. Glorio. This Demon Realm resident appears to oppose Goma and Degasu's ambitions, and while we only see a small glimpse of him in Episode 1, he's clearly set to play a major role in the episodes to come. There are speculations that Glorio could be an ally to Goku and others, especially since his actions seem to go against Goma's agenda, but is he really trustworthy? We know he's going to be traveling with our heroes throughout their journey in the Demon Realm. Dragon Ball has always been about redemption and Glorio's presence might be a nod to this grand theme. Still, Shin and other heroes may be hesitant to trust someone from Goma's inner circle. 
Glorio's appearance has fans buzzing as well as he bears a striking resemblance to Mira from Dragon Ball Heroes and Dragon Ball Xenoverse. Could Glorio be linked to Mira or is this just a coincidence? With Dragon Ball Daima reworking canon, it's possible that other characters like Toa and Mekikaburo could make an appearance. The series has already name dropped Dabura's father, Abura, which only adds fuel to the fire. Meanwhile, on Earth, things are much more lighthearted. Episode 1 opens with the birthday celebration for Trunks, who's turning 9 years old. This moment of joy offers a fun contrast to the chaos brewing in the demon realm. But it also fills in some timeline gaps, placing Dragon Ball Daima about a year after Kid Buu's defeat. Of course, no birthday party is complete without a little sparring, and Goku and Vegeta take the opportunity to trade blows and energy blasts. This scene feels like a nostalgic nod to their friendly rivalry, but it's also the calm before the storm. Things are about to get a lot more serious. One curious detail in episode 1 is Gohan's absence from the birthday festivities. Apparently, he's busy with his studies again, but this might be more than just a throwaway line. By keeping Gohan out of the action, Dragon Ball Daima may be setting him up for something bigger later on in the series. Or all us Gohan fans could hope. Another surprising revelation comes from Shin and Kabito. In past Dragon Ball series, their separation from the Kabito Kai's fusion was explained as the result of a Dragon Ball wish, but Daima offers a new explanation. Kabito actually used Boo's absorption ability to reverse the fusion, similar to what Vegito experienced in the Boo Saga. This small retcon may play a bigger role as the series progresses. As the birthday celebration winds down, Goku and others realize something is terribly wrong. Goma's wish has come into effect, and the Z Fighters are transforming into children. Their power levels have dropped, and they're suddenly vulnerable in ways they haven't been for years. Despite the setbacks, I'm sure our heroes Goku and Vegeta are determined to push forward. They may be children again, but their fighting spirit hasn't changed. Now the team must figure out how to undo this wish and stop Goma and Degasu's plan before it's too late. With the Z Fighters de-aged and the Demon Realm's plot in full swing, the stage is set for a brand new adventure. Dragon Ball Daima is only just getting started, and with Ancient relics, dark conspiracies, and old enemies returning to the fold? There's no telling what's in store for our heroes. Thank you for joining us for this recap of Dragon Ball Daima Episode 1. With new twists, unexpected enemies, and the return of old friends, this series is shaping up to be an unforgettable addition to the Dragon Ball universe. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe for more anime recaps and breakdowns. And remember, when the flames of battle at night, only the strongest will rise from the ashes. It was a pretty good episode overall. I'd give it about, I'd, I'd probably give it a 9 out of 10. I was interested all the way throughout. The new info drops and everything was really good. Uh, make sure y'all go check out the episode for yourselves. Seem to route. Peace.